Okay, so what are we going to talk about today? So today we are going to talk about and learn bash. Well, the basics of bash, like a bash sort of 101. And um, there's a sort of lot of a lot of misconceptions about bash. I don't really like how it's talked about. I don't really like how it's talked about in videos as well. So I'm going to do my own take on it, which is, might not be too much different, but it's just my own take on it. And I will say off the bat as well that as far as I'm concerned, bash or shell, anyway, let's just call it bash for now. Bash is probably the most important thing on your system, especially the way we do it on this channel. Is like the oxygen to the operating system as far as I'm concerned that's how important it is um, even more important than the Linux kernel even more important than just about any bit of software it is the most important bit of software so anyway for um, I go off too off tangent what is it what is bash well if you go on the arch wiki they off the bat which is interesting, they actually call it a programming language as slash command line shell, which is, yeah, that's literally what it is. But somehow, again, I don't think it's properly appreciated. Um, and I think the easiest way is just to get into it. So as you know, the way we do it on this channel is the command line, the terminal. So your terminal, as you're looking at it now is just the window if you like into the means to communicate to the system so we've got our window manager which you've seen on my previous videos opening a terminal which looks like this black screen with a prompt which is generated by bash and what we're going to do now is show you how to use it but I want to, again, this is where I'm going to do it a bit different. I want it to be in context. This is important. It's not just a couple of commands. It is everything. Absolutely everything. It does everything. It is everything. Like it says, it's command line prompt, command command line utility, oh, I don't know, whatever, and the programming. It is It's just everything. It's the communication between you and this. That's how important it is. So let's get going. So first thing, this is, this is why I'm going to do it like this. And explain it like this how much it is integrated to your system is so let's do our usual updates so sudo pacman syu so as you see sudo pacman syu so this is bash right this is important to understand well look, I can let's enlarge this let's enlarge this so this is important to understand so what you're actually doing here is you're invoking two commands, sudo, pacman, and these options here, flags. Now obviously sudo and pacman are programs, and dash syu are the options for pacman, but what it's doing is bash is telling the system to run these commands. That's very important. It's a concept that I think everybody should understand. Now most people running this will just, if you are new, you're new to Linux, you're new to this channel, then maybe this is going to still seem alien to you, but it's important to us. Everything in this window is bash. Everything. That's what you've got to understand. There's a, technically, it might be an exception to that if you're literally programming a program, but let's just be honest about everything. So, sudo's asking for password. This is bash. We're putting in our password and so forth and so forth. It's all up to date. Right, great. So again, I want you to understand that everything is bash. When you log in, you're logging in using bash. It's communicating with the programs, communicating with the system. It's your, it's the user layer, okay? So, right, I've gone on long enough about it. I just want to get it in to here. So, what have I just done? I've run the command ls, okay? ls is a command, but again, we're doing bash. You have the core utilities, which are a set of programs, including bash, I think it's part of the core utility. But bash is communicating with the system to say, ls, let's see 
this directory. So YouTube tests your home directory, right? So I want you to do that. So you should show you whatever you might have home videos, depends how you've done it, if you set up like a thing. So we're gonna set up some test um, directory. So, okay, we're gonna run this command here, mkdir, and we're just gonna call it test, call it test top, okay? So we've run mkdir, which is the command mkdir test top is the name of the folder. So if I run ls again, you see test top is the folder. So we're going to go into cd change directory test top. And you see, I'm just going to get us into this. I'm not going to just, you know, be so particular and let's just get stuff done, right? So we're in ls test top, sorry. So as you can see, there's nothing in this directory. Now if I do mkd mk make directory in here and call test middle do ls now we've got test middle see how this works this is like your file system but we're in bash bash is doing this it's evoking the commands it's evoking the core utilities the programs to do this so we're going to go test middle we we'll do it again mkdir and we're going to do test bottom okay and there we go so now you can again you can do things such as you know mkdir and but again i'm not it's not just about learning the programs because i'm going to give you a tip at the end how to learn everything you need about the programs that is what i'm going to give you okay so i just want you to get into this is going to cover 90 percent of what you're going to do in bash so we're going to go into test bottom right now we're going to use a thing called touch okay touch is command you've probably seen me use it before maybe not and we're going to write, uh, let's just call this file um, test bottom.txt, okay? So we do ls. You can see it's got different color, different um, syntax highlighting, whatever you call it. And again, bash is doing that. Bash is syntax highlighting this here as a folder, this here as a file. So now if we do ls dash lha, again, I'm invoking bash and doing ls, and I want to know what the user permissions who owns it? That's so, you know, again, I'm not going to go into all the programs, just trying to get you to use things. This makes so if I want to now go into this file, I'm going to do vim test bottom.txt. You might use nano. And if you notice, I use autocomplete. Again, bash is autocomplete. So if you hit tab and you've got so many characters, it will autocomplete based on the remaining characters. Now, obviously, you've only got this one file in here, but if I had multiple files, it would and I hit tab tab and show you the multiple files assuming that all options be complete. So if I had two files test bottom one to file test bottom two, it would basically ask you which one you'd want and you'd complete it and then you could tab once it had news definite answer. Okay. So then I go into it now. Bash has invoked the program. We're in the program. Okay, maybe we're not technically in Bash anymore, but you see where we're going with this, right? You see what we're doing. Okay. So now we use cd dot dot and we go back. You see the prompt on the left? We're now in test middle. Do cd dash dash. We're now in test top. We do cd dot dot. We're now in the home folder. So if we go test top and then tab tab, we go back into test bottom. So if I hit cd, we go back to the home. If I go CD and CD and go test, test, top and bottom, and I do CD and then I do the tilde, that squiggly thing, that also takes you back to the home. And I can evoke those folders with the full path. So I can do home, so because I'm in my home directory, uh, YouTube, James, and then I can do a test, top, and now it's taken me to test, top. Or I can do CD, I can do the tilde and the forward slash, and I can do uh, test top, as you can see, and it takes me there. Um, if I want to go back to the last directory I was in, which will be the home, I can do cd space that. And it also gives you a prompt to tell you your last directory. And so I'm, I was in test top, actually, last one. Okay, so that is probably going to be a lot of or most of what you're doing is going in directories going out of directories checking files opening files you're always doing this in bash this is important 
or another shell. These are called shells, of course, bash shell, born again shell, which is based off another program called shell, whatever. All right, I'm just trying to speed through this, okay? So let's go back into test top, All right? Now, I'm gonna, um, also, I, we're using bash here, so if I do vim and I do test bottom two dot txt, bash has said open, well, run vim, and vim with this test bottom two dot text. So that's an argument, right? So it's, it's a, there's also a way of structuring things in bash for most programs. It does depend on the program, but this is usually how it goes. So you have, if I go back, so actually I can write it in here. So you have your, your um, so let's say vim. So, so vim is program, okay? And then say, um, I need to put some options with it. So let's say, um, probably shouldn't do that. Let's say I, I need to do an option like we did Pacman SY. Obviously this isn't for Vim, but there might be some flags in it, okay? And then I put an argument. So I wanna do it at home, uh, YouTube games. Okay, so that's your argument. So program, Vim, options, SYU, File directory struct argument is what is typically called. So program options argument. Now obviously that it's not an absolute, but that tends to be how Bash you know runs or how programs run with Bash. Okay. So we've done a few things. So let's do other commands. You want to remove a file, so we're going to remove test bottom. Okay, removed. We didn't save that previous file, so if I do touch test bottom one, so that's my first argument, test bottom two. Uh, yeah, and I'll do ls. I've got those two files, test bottom one and two. If I want to remove one, and I want to remove two. There we go, rm. Be careful with the rm command, but in the home folder, just rm is fine. Again, you can put options with it. So again, what do we want to do if we want to remove a folder? So if I go CD back back, I can just do uh, uh, rmdir test bottom. There you go, that folder's gone. So if I go CD, and I would do PWD, so print working directory, that's showing me where I am. And there's no, anyway, there's no other, other there's test middle, sorry. There's no, so. I hope that's starting to make some sense. This is actually like 18, 90% making files, making files, but and running programs, running programs with flags. So again, I don't think it's that common. People make a big deal out of this, but it's not really that complicated. There's, there's other things you do, it's like it's a programming language. So you can do loops, you can do for loops, you can do while loops, until loops even, you can, you know, um, I don't think I'm going on so much about stuff. If statements, if then statements, um, uh, case statements, um, all kinds of thing. What else? Um, I don't know. Just anyway, I I programmed in Bash. You know, I've got I have got a main program. I probably saw from my first video. We'll go into that in the future. But this is what you're going to spend most of your time doing in the terminal. And look how you know it's light. For people say Bash is slow, but it's so much faster than using so many things and this is really just scratch and search but it's probably scratch and search is like one percent of the stuff you can do in bash but it's what you're going to do 90 percent of the time doing stuff like this. and you know you can do things like wild card matching and all this and i'm not going to get into that there but there is some you are going to need learning material tools that you need to know what you're doing so if we just go back um say it's probably other things i can tell you whatever Maybe just watch my other videos to see how I, I do things. But I just think that just sort of encapsulates it. I don't want this video going on forever. It's gone on long enough. But there's two things I want you to do. So we're going to do sudo. Make sure, again, make sure your packages are up to date before you do this. Um, dash, capital S. And we're going to do man. Okay. All right. I've got it. I think I've already got installed. I'll reinstall it. So man is short for manual. So if I do man... LS, whatever. As you can see, it's now brought up a manual page for LS. This tells you how it works. So LS, Directory of Contents, which we've done it to list out. You've got options and file, right, or argument. So these are the flags. So you saw I did 
ls-a, what's lh, so that shows you hidden folders, okay? So again, we're doing bash, we running this program, it's arguments, I hope this is sort of starting to make sense. I do ls-lha, and it's giving me all the extra information, fantastic, brilliant. So, man, there's also another program I want you to install, so see, look, I hope it's in the main thing. Yes, and it's called TLDR. Yes, so this might take a moment. Okay, so now run TLDR, run ls. Take a moment, look at that magic. So as you can see here, this is a directory online that tells you all these different, um, what do you call it? All these different options you can use. So only list directories, and there's a wildcard there, the asterisk. So that will list directories only. Well, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to explain this. This is this is the info. You only really need these two, man, and um, TLDR. That's what I'd say. TLDR is not like the the official way of doing things, but it's a great utility. I use it all the time because I can't remember all the commands. You know, and you're not going to remember all the commands. So what does that leave then? So um, there is also um, help. So if I do ls, it's usually help something like that. Um, is it help ls? Help, help. Again, you're not going to use this too much, but this again, this is display information about built-in commands. So uh, bash and shell and all this stuff has built-in commands. So, um, so if I just do help, <laughs> there you go. Let's zoom out a bit. So these are all the um, different things. So look, these are like program things, expressions for like checking, if statements and tests and for loops and always false. So this is all back as well. So programs stuff. These are built-in commands. I know this is probably all too much to to whatever, but help you can use. So I think help cd. Uh, yeah, so here you go, change the working directory. So it just gives you a little prompt for some bullet and whatever. Okay, so you see, we've also got info. So info cd, info ls. So again, info is like the man page, but just use man unless it doesn't have it in man. Use try info and maybe even help for certain built in ones. But don't get too hung, just, just start experimenting, maybe use a virtual machine, maybe um, whatever. Just don't worry about these things too much. Though what I've shown you, probably most of what you're gonna do is only like less than 1% of the stuff you're gonna do. It's thousands of commands in Bash, absolutely thousands. Um, but um, I think there's a program called Apropos, Apropos, uh, Apropos. Let's actually do what we said, Apropos. Search the manual page names and scripts. So I think if you do, um, uh, what would it be? Let's do TLDR apropos. There you go, you see how I'm doing these things? Hopefully this is gonna come with something. Search for a keyword. Oh no. Anyway, there's a, there's a way to, uh, let's see, how can, I find a list of all programs in Bash. Okay. How do I list all install programs? I'm getting somewhere. So, uh, Pac-Man. Oh, okay. Pac-Man packages is not really what we want. We're talking specifically about Bash. Um, try Stack Overflow, whatever. Um, I'm sure there was a simpler way than this. Oh my god. Always so much fun with my videos because I just go on like a huge roundabout, don't I? Um, user share applications. Okay, I guess that's one way. But again, that's like. That's really what we want. How do list all packages? It's mm, not what we want. Um, oh, uh, what 
get there, we'll get there somewhere. Okay. Okay, we'll just. Well, it's because there's core utilities as well. Maybe I've been too much of a... Okay, let's just start with this. Let's just start with this. So, okay, if you want to see what programs you've got, so Pacman-Q, there you go. You can look up all these. So it's actually got a lot of the core utilities. So like it's got like, uh, man said, yeah? Stream editor filtering. This is very useful. Maybe we'll learn something with this in the future. And then um, what, Orc, which is like its own program in the name. Info Orc. It's not installed. Interesting. Anyway, so there's all these programs. You can look through them. Just run that command. That's going to cover pretty much all of it. Okay, all the stuff you're possibly going to use, including core utilities. Just start there. We'll, we look at these things. There, I've gone on far too long. You're probably turned off. You're probably bored now. So that's pretty basic. And obviously, you've got like commands to power off. So if you want to reboot your system, obviously reboot. You should have been doing this already. Power off. Power off. Um, uh, you know, so it, again, these are the, like basic things you're going to use. Um, you know, and obviously running. So if I want to run Firefox, run Firefox. Again, it's just come on, but it's all all in Bash. That's the point. That's the point. Bash has its own core utilities, especially programs, specialist programs in Bash, built into Bash. But Bash is everything. It's the lifeblood of your system. It's if you're running a terminal in TTY or whatever is Bash or something like Bash, but Bash is the majority shell. Anyway, it's probably rambling, whatever, but I know my videos that rambling or not, they work. One way or another, things actually work by the end of it. You might have taken 5,000 detours, but they work. Okay, right, time for, time for the exit. Time for the exit now. So you know what to do. Fake YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Do it. That's it.